messing me up, dude. She was just screaming in my ear all the time. Ali Madness! Ali Madness! I was like, fuck. It's so funny that, that, that the older generation is just as loud as the younger <laughs> generation. Uh, it, was, no, it was good fun. He's actually really dope and pretty good against floaties. Uh, fair he's enough. Got the, he's got the patience, he's got the strats. They're going on in. The big, the <laughs> Mr. Saturn starting off the game right, mm -hmm. making sure that we already uh, are going to get the RNG in first. Yeah. But Off the bat, you can see Madness not very playing very grounded. Luigi obviously known for the big wave dash, but Peach's ground game, that blender, you, just, you don't want to risk running into it. And your aerials are really strong. You can fight Peach with the aerials very well, especially when you're mixing up your timings like that. So... I think, yeah, he's going to stick to these platforms like a lot more and try and make Peach come to him, commit to our height a lot. Yeah, I was talking to Scarbro yesterday about Madness, and uh, he described Madness as somebody who, like, uh, likes trying to do these really weird approaches, like those, uh, mm -hmm. those like, where he shield, yeah, like that, like, where he shield drops, like, three times in a row yeah. and then goes in to, like, mix up the timings. Like, when am I coming down? When am I coming down? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of exploitable, though. Luigi's still slow in the air. Yeah, it's definitely something that if you know it's going to happen, like, you should be able to deal with it, but it's still, like... It's still just like annoying because he's like clearly still going to yeah. mix you up in some way. Exactly. You just have to like, you have to respect it and Ooh. then call it out. Choosing to wait there to get that now is really good. But unfortunately, oh, sneaking under him. I, I love that option. Because uh, when you up smash, you stop at the end of the platform. So you can uh, aim it like super easily. And yes. Peach dies early. <laughs> this is kind of rough. I mean, there's only 47% on Madness. And as we said, like these characters just don't die. Yeah. So if you're down like, this early two stocks like you're gonna be oh grinding. my god man this is playing insane he's like winning every mix-up and the pressure has just been kind of unreal Fouts, it's on foul to like beat this still nice nah, the way he's playing he's just telling him to come to the platform yeah, there's the foul just seems just kind of lost finally gets some off stage but this is like the first edgeguard opportunity he gets and luckily Peach does have a good time uh, edge guarding Luigi. Oh, so. yeah, she messes him up. So that's something. And we got a bomb. Uh, I mean, there's not much you can really do. It's definitely trying to, like, avoid being stuck with, like, a bomb or, yeah. like, a stitch for, like, 10, 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. You, it's really good to throw it. But if you hold it, you're just not playing neutral because you're like, oh, I need to throw the bomb. Yeah. That DI was questionable. <laughs> it's, uh, there's another one. He's going to need, like, six more. Oh, if he gets the fair here. Oh, good game of chicken with the up smash on yeah. landing. Wow. Foul didn't stand a chance. Because Madness never pulled the trigger. So the moment they landed, won the speed war. These jabs. That's so sick. Madness is just looking like he's going to three stock like game on. This is yeah. kind of wild. I was not expecting this. Like, this is looking like with three minutes, like, I don't know, like a slightly longer spacey ditto. <laughs> it's all the aerial approaches. Like, Foul's just, he hasn't really found which height he can commit to to challenge this. So Luigi's just been kind of content to just run around these platforms and be like, Okay, now I can come in, you know? And, like, the arrows yeah. are so quick and strong, which is normally Peach's thing. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah why not try it? <laughs> right? Like, it's worked every other time. I'm just going to run at you and up smash. 84% as well. Like, the kill moves start coming online now. Like, trying to kill Peach off the side does take some time, but you've got both down smash and up smash yeah. for and the top kills. And, I mean, at this point, like, you have four minutes, you have three stocks. Like, you can just kind of fish forever mm -hmm. uh, as long as you don't get, like, messed up too hard. Like, when you go for these swings, like, yeah. you should be fine and eventually just win. Or you can get a misfire and recover for free. That can also happen. Uh, sometimes. 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 You have to account for both misfiring and not misfiring, yeah. you know? Uh, and a lot of times you do just die <laughs> if you weren't ready to do yeah, it. Yeah, I think I think the, the the best misfire is the ver is the first one. Yeah, After yeah, the yeah, first yeah, yeah. one, every misfire becomes bad. Because <laughs> then because then it's in the the person's head, and then it starts getting covered, and then it's like, oh, this is actually like a detriment. I'm mm. actually detrimental to like yeah to get those like uh, those misfires, and you like land on top flat, and then they just go up and up areas. Like, yeah. oh, what the fuck was the point of that? Yeah, wh why why mo why are we born just to suffer? Life's so difficult, you know? That's how Fouts feel. Who's the fucking Luigi? I can't fucking believe this shit, man. <laughs> I mean, he has, to deal, he has to deal with this in the Netherlands, too. He has to play against, like, Doc and Yoshi and shit. He's like, God fucking damn it. Yeah. You know, I was playing fucking Luigi in Winners Round 1. Who's this shit, man? What a blessed scene. That's why they don't make top 8s. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, uh, maybe you'll shut me up this weekend. We'll see. I mean, I hope so, but I mean, it, it's not looking like it's gonna go through. It's gonna happen through winners. Maybe Fat's gonna have to win this tournament through losers, but we'll yeah. see. I mean, this is Dreamland, which is gonna take longer than Battlefield. Uh, I don't know how much longer. 
It depends, because, yeah, this, this this has been, like, a relatively explosive uh, first game, so it yeah. definitely depends, but, I mean, if, uh, this is the counter pick, so if I shouldn't fit theory be relatively, like, yeah. comfortable, like, trying to camp out uh, the Luigi a little bit. Yeah. Doing a better job already. If, yeah, uh, exactly. Like, this game already, Fouts are just approaching less. They kind of noticed, like, okay, every time I try to come at Madness, it was not working out. So now I'm just kind of going to hold down the fort and see how he approaches me. And also, a big part of the game plan last time on Battlefield was, you know, wave dash around the platforms. It's really nice as Luigi. On uh, Dreamland, they're kind of further apart. The first one's yeah. higher up. It's not as easy to do. Yeah, definitely. And, I mean, Fountainel's definitely uh, not the person who's, uh, like, scared of not going in. Like, oh, much, yeah. As much as he's, like, a, definitely, like, a big button presser, like, he definitely has, you know, the willingness to camp people out. Um, the icy days are gone. Yeah, I, it's, I did. it's still I, there. I did, that's the most vivid memory of Fountainel's <laughs> him playing. Um, I think it's Anna at like a at a Austria tournament, like a Vienna tournament, just sitting there, mm -hmm. like on Dream, like just like I'm gonna go top left of the stage and just sit there, and there's yep. nothing you can do, and just did that for like 20 minutes, and then entered the Dutch Discord like, yeah, I fucking did that shit. <laughs> yeah, I did that. He's in it while he was in the match. <laughs> Typing out. That would be. Get, you're, you're getting, like, he, like, fucks up, gets wobbled, and it's like, yeah. yo, I'm fucking winning this shit anyway, dog. <laughs> like, Tweeting while getting wobbled is the hardest move. Yeah. That's just cold. But, yeah, it's already looking, yeah, like, uh, like a slower-paced match. I mean, we're already almost two minutes in, and there's no stocks being taken. And uh, it's not like, yeah, as we said, like, it's not like they haven't been approaching. It's just you get these stray hits, but the Dreamland, it's going to be so much harder to get kills. But, man, it's offstage. Yeah. It's your like, opportunity. It's like baby's first boxing match. You just taking turns, <laughs> like, doing one punch each. And then the fear sets in again. Oh, yeah. If we did if we did melee boxing at this, it would be awful. <laughs> yeah. Imagine this, this <laughs> matchup and then melee boxing. I don't think either of these people know how to box. Oh, the amount of tilt involved as well. It would be, it'd be kind of beautiful. I'm not going to lie. We might need to make that happen. Yeah, where's Ludwig at? <laughs> I don't think we need him. True. I mean, I mean, you know, this is a big hall. We can we can get a boxing ring going. We've got the auditorium. Exactly. It's yeah. perfect. We'll talk to we'll talk to Chase after all. We can do it. We yeah, can yeah, make yeah. it out. We can make it out. Oh, this is kind of rough. Luigi kind of slip and sliding around. That's a strong area though to get the kill. He evens it up, but uh, you got to come correct when you come at Luigi. That like just all the little frame advantage that he has in just weird spots that like you're not used to against other characters. You're like, oh, n any other character? I just hit them here, and it's like, no, Luigi gets a move out. Yeah. Yeah, those moves, like th those those moves hit hard. They're fast, and they hit like a truck. Like Nair, Nair and Downer just. At least, it's just, it, I always never really got like how strong they were until I actually started like actively playing against Luigi's, and then suddenly you, they like yeah. get those combos into like Nair or Downer. It's like. These hit so hard. They look like they should like tickle you a little mm. bit. The but, problem uh, is this drift sucks. Yeah, no, definitely. But that's why this platform approach is nice, because wave dashing around the platform, that's essentially your drift. So yeah. you can kind of pick where you're putting your arrows like a lot better and quicker, which is more important. Yeah. It's definitely the large contrast between these two characters. Like the one has Ooh. no aerial like uh, freedom of movement and the other one has all of it. Yeah. I'm all uh, like percent deficit, but there's gonna be so much nooch. You know, there's a, definitely a chance to just catch it up. Pop a fat nooch real quick. Yeah. This match is way more grounded from both of them as well, actually. Yeah, yeah I think Mattis has realized, like, in the first minute, like, those, like, the, what worked in game one is just not working in game yeah. two. If he, because when he started doing it, Fowl just stopped approaching. Yeah, he was just sitting, like, at the side of the platform. It's like, all right, and eventually you will stop shield oh. dropping, and you will go in, and I will narrate. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. And now it's now it's base top platform gameplay coming out from Fowl. I mean, he has the lead. It's four minutes in. He might as well just do it, because... At this point, he's basically favored to, to win yeah. if he gets if he just like you know times it out or goes for the timeout. But oh, I love the game of chicken that is edge guarding Peach. <laughs> so <laughs> when 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 from both of them as well. I hate it so much. I get it, but it's like it feels like a worse version of the Samus edge guard because <laughs> it's like they have one mix up yeah. and then the mix up works and you just it just feels so dumb. They yeah. Just, they just fast fill to ledge like. I should have covered that. I think one thing that's cool about Melee, though, is that, like, er edge guarding every character is just, like, its own little mini game. Yeah. It's pretty dope. And, like, it's like a little boss battle in its phases, but, like, the uh, there's a real human actually doing the phase stuff. Definitely. Ooh, look, that down smash could have been pretty bad. Just right there on the shield, but... Off stage. 
almost got away with it, yeah, but now in a lot of trouble. Tournament winner, Reign of Peaches Fair, not what you want. And now this can be rough, the turnips, really good. Now you just get ledge, oh, Ooh, great tech, tech but, oh, you just grab ledge there, Luigi can't do anything. It's still scary as hell though, like every aerial coin. will start killing at this It's point. the coin, you don't want to get hit by that, that yeah. would just mess you up. Especially because you, you're wave dashing back if it coins you, you just air dodge down. I know my stuff. You know your stuff. This is my guy. This, this is literally this is the best commentary you'll ever hear from me because it's actually a character I understand. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this, this top platform stuff is so hard because you just jump straight up as Luigi, and it doesn't. It's it's reactable as well. So the moment he starts going up, you're like, well, that's where he's gonna be. Yeah. And you just play around it. So despite all that, like Matt is keeping this close. Hell, impressive. Grab that ledge. Alright. Sometimes you don't need to be the one that does it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your opponent's just there to help you. Alright, two minutes left. Two fresh stocks. It's basically Sammy singles, but on Dreamland. Oh, beautiful spacing on the down smash. Not getting hit by any of that. And now building up so much damage. Actually crucial. Yeah, no. Down throw forward air. That looked like he was in control, and then uh, over the course of about a minute and a half, oh. his stock lead went came to like a 90% like percent deficit somehow. Madness just kind of figuring out the timing of when Foul likes to push. Yes, yeah. it baited out like three straight down smashes. Oh, and now it's 100. Yeah. 100, yeah, 100% peach. This is rough because now he has he's gonna have trouble getting off the ledge. He yeah, managed to get off, and it gets down there, and that's it. A comeback from Madness to make it 2-0. Impressive stuff. Managing to keep it together, even though yeah, he was kind of getting figured out, but then he figured something else out, and you know. Damn. The adaptation wars not uh, not going in Madness' favor, or in Fadinel's favor for now. Not that I had any at all to begin with, but if I did, all my salt would be gone right now. <laughs> this guy's playing incredible. C'est incroyable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm not going to do that to myself. I feel, like I, I feel like I agreed with myself. Like, I made a pact to uh -huh. not say any French words on stream. Oh, yeah. I had it when I was in the Netherlands, I was enjoying the Dutch language so much, and then I realized I'm kind of enjoying it to the point where, like, if I did this outside of Europe, it'd probably just kind of be a little not okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 good to, it's good to know that you're not just some British person doing it. You yeah. Know? Like, otherwise it would be like, this seems like vaguely in bad faith. Uh-huh. I've been... I used to live in Amsterdam, and the, the British tourists who would pretend like they know Dutch, that's it's awful. Oh, that's not me. No, no, Unless no. I, like, 100% knew how to say, like, yeah. something, or it's just if I'm with, like, Dutch, yeah. I'll be like, hey, I know how to say this, but, yeah. like, also, not a Brit. Yeah, the vibes, the vibes are, are good. The vibes are good. It's because I'm not British. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> that, that helps. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Just gotta, just gotta live there. Speaking of not liking the island you're on, FD? I don't know. When Peach goes up, how is she coming down? Luigi can control a lot of the space. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, in my head, like, this is a stage that, like, Luigi kind of likes. Mm. So, I'm not exactly sure what the idea is. But, but on the, actually, no, I've got it. Like, Madness has, has actually just been winning the air game. That's been his shtick. Like, True. the way he moves around the True. platform. So, just, the idea is take those away. And now you have to play so grounded that my amazing grounded Peach options come, like, way more online. Actually, yeah, I like it from Falcon. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. It does get. It does. Yeah. It also just makes madness. But it also forces madness to be a bit more honest. Yeah. Like it's definitely. Yeah. Like the the weird platform mix-ups are kind of his bread and butter. So this is definitely like you have to actually beat me. Like, uh, on. I don't know. Like on paper. Yeah. On paper. <laughs> on paper. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Actually. Fair enough. Oh, that was just amazing setup. Like felt was forced to commit on stage. He was ready to cover it. But how many times have you got to do it? That's the thing with Peach. You know, you can do it once, oh, but she's going to make you do it three times. That's so close. Let's try and close out the stock. I love ledge dash roll-in. It feels like the best option in the world. It's honestly, I love I love those kind of options. There's no jump now. He's pretty much only got to go for ledge. Oh, he's got some stuff for that. Grab it, yeah. Ooh, nice. There's literally zero drift to the up B. So if, you, if Luigi has to up B, nowhere near the ledge, it's, it's already over. Yeah. Especially with Peach, because you can just, just sit there, float down air. It's, like, exactly. it's just so easy. And now Fout has a lead. Yeah, but this is what happened in Dreamland. Uh, but obviously, True. yeah, as you said, there's not as uh, there's no platforms to mess around with, so yeah. he's gonna have to find different mix-ups to find uh, openings. I think Fout is pretty good at playing with a lead. I think specifically last game Madness just kind of got him for like yeah. it was just a good like okay this no, is definitely right now. No, he's definitely yeah. I mean he's definitely uh, somebody yeah who, who actually uses the lead and yeah, definitely exactly. plays differently, but like plays. Uh, with the purpose differently, as opposed yeah, to like, yeah, yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah, to yeah. like, oh shit, I have a lead, I need to keep this going. Like more like, 
the this risk is my like I have a game plan specifically for what exactly. I have to like, lead. Exactly. Like the risk reward has now changed as such. These options are yes. the better ones to do. Now. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's. It could, this could be rough. We started his jump, but now he's forced to commit. All right, we get to rinse and repeat this another time. Gets up the ledge. Yeah, hit him. Come on. <laughs> yeah, tell how you feel. <laughs> you got a lot of percent to make up for, and, and throw the turnip. Oh. Man is really starting to string it together. This has just sort of been the motif of this match, right? There's just these moments where Madness for like just gets so many reads in a row. Yeah, no, definitely. It's definitely a fountain of grinding and madness is yeah, these spurts that aren't combos, but yeah, just like these five stray like back air fares yeah. in a row. Oh, like, it gets clipped. This is your next defensive option. I already know. But this wall of peach can be so rough. Yeah, and everything basically kills at this point. I mean, like a four throw is even going to start killing at this point. Yeah. That's that. 80, 81% though, if you can just somehow get a big read, a little up B, we've yeah. got an even game. It's basically the same position as last game, except a different stage. Yeah. So we see if, uh, if Fata this time can keep it oh. together and not get figured out too much, but... Madness uh, neutral B is way more than any other Luigi. And it's got really good ideas behind it. I, re I actually super enjoy watching it. It's definitely very, very interesting. He does it in like really good spots to just force favorable like you have you essentially have to get around it somehow, and he's positioned behind it in such a way that if you choose to jump, he's usually just got it covered. Yeah. I like how Madness plays. It's very cool that like we have two like very prominent Luigi mains in Europe and yeah. they both play like very differently. Exactly. It's the like all 20XX and like all hot Luigi. <laughs> all hearts. Yeah. Madness is the all hot Luigi. I, I really like how he plays. Shots to 20, 20 LM, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, this is. I mean, we're talking about the. I think he's about got, he's, he's got his timings again. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking great. Oh, you, you, uh, Fout, you're actually here for your 10 AM. I read all of your options uh, meeting. Ooh, yeah. Last stock potentially for winner's bracket for Fout to know. He, Mendes has just started winning. <laughs> it's it's actually really jarring. Like he loses for the first half, and then suddenly the second half starts and. It's like it's like Fauto just like down like red. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's like it's not even the Fouts like messing things up in particular as well. It's just like the positioning for Madness is really good. But Fouts back in the groove now, you know, they're just really good defensive play. Just slowly building up his percent. 93, ain't nothing to scoff at. Oh the up smash, the up air. This this percent is adding up very quickly. It's very scary because Luigi's definitely the one that hits a little bit harder yeah. uh, off of these like singular aerials. It's nice as Luigi when you're allowed to trade with Peach. It does make the matchup just so much more yeah. comfortable. You can be a lot more brave with your approaches. This is scary. Any any smash attack will start killing. Yeah. Any strong aerial. Oh! oh! Gets reversaled! Yeah, that was very cute. But he's got to do it like five one more read. times. Okay. Edgeguard opportunity for Fatsanel. Getting past the turnip. Air dodge is quite early. Reverse. Gonna get ledge. We're back here. I love this show. Doesn't That's so daunting. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to mess with the ledge dash because he's probably gonna like ledge dash down or up smash and you're just gonna be dead. Yeah. But the, the thing is with this like high percent, it's you know not the end of the world. Like obviously Mattis wants to close it out now, but if he was to lose this, the stock, he can start trading so much easier with the yeah. percent. But might not get there. The edge guarding has been really oh, clean. Oh yes. my yes. god! Stole the ledge three. -0. Oh damn! That's not how I thought that set was gonna go. Three. Oh damn! Found out not too happy.